seriously. Uh, it, I mean, she was like perfect for me. But, uh, you know, it's hard. But you got to move past and have the strength to move on, even though I cried for like a month. <laughs> In private. You know, because you got to do the manly thing and not cry in front of anyone. And that that's another character flaw that I try to work on. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that sort of stuff happened. And then we hit 2008, all right? And 2008 was the worst year of my life. And... It's for multiple reasons, but it was the year that we lost everything. And I mean by losing everything, went homeless, lived in a motel for two months. My cousin took us in for another month. And basically it looked bleak. You know, I mean, living in a motel is not fun, you know. With, you know, crackheads and all sorts of shit. I, I don't even want to know what was going on in that area. I, I don't want to know. Uh, but, yeah. That sort of stuff. We we had to put up with. And, you know, we we had to deal with. Uh, you know, lived, lived that sort of life. And it was there... In 2008, where I, especially at my cousin's place, is where I made my YouTube channel, uh, channel. And it started in 2008, actually. Uh, but I only watched people. I didn't actually, you know, I, w I didn't really have any subscriptions or anything. I just watched people and sort of, you know, saw different stuff. And... I stumbled across Let's Plays that year, along with, like, Halo betrayals and etc. montages way back in the day, okay? So that was that, was that year, and I, I discovered Let's Play and, you know, montages. And I would watch them, and I really enjoyed, you know, watching that sort of stuff. And... You know, I, I always sort of put it in the back of mind and be like, oh, I wish I could do this. This looks really fun. And it, so the end of 2008 happens, and we move into the place we are now uh, after a short stint in a really bad apartment, which a, a big fat dude fell down through uh, down the stairs next door to us and it was one of those townhouse type deals that had stairs in the apartment. And the guy fell down the stairs and put a hole through the wall. Yeah, we got the hell out of there really fast. We we had to break the old contract, but uh, oh my god, got out of there. But um, we moved into a modular home, and uh, you know that's that's you know the the, the situation and. You know, we started anew, and it was an amazing time after that, after, like, December of 08. So, 2009 happens, and I watched, well, in 2008, I watched uh, Cypheron 48's Banjo-Tooie Let's Play, and that's the first Let's Play I ever watched, was uh, Banjo-Tooie. And I'm pretty sure it was OA that uh, Cypheron. And it was his Banjo Tooie Let's Play. And I, I really enjoyed that Let's Play. Oh my god. It's the reason why I got into Let's Play. And so in 09, me and my sister, who also wanted to make videos on YouTube, watched a video where we about basically capture cards and how to set them up. So we got ourselves Dazzles. All right. And we we learned how to set it up and do all that stuff. 
and we recorded our first videos. She recorded whatever she did, and I started making Halo montages. Yes, my first videos were Halo montages, both good and bad, you know, like good montages of pretty cool kills and bad montages like funny betrayals and stuff like that. But that was what we uh, what I first started into. But I I eventually grew really tired of it. About a month in, I only got one subscriber because of it. I was like, "Eh, hey, you know what? I really want to get going and start let's play because this looks really fun." So I made my first let's play video, and it was Double Dash, and I never had a microphone. So I bought my first headset ever. And I I that that first double dash video actually was prior to me getting the headset, my first headset ever. So that first video is actually history right there because after that I got the actual headset. But all right. So that was that and then I really I really enjoyed making the Let's Plays, so I kept going and kept going and kept going, and, you know, it started taking off, and I met some really cool people and started watching stuff and got 200, 400, you know, eventually 600, 800, 1,000, met cool people like Josh Jepson, Attack in Two Cans, Shots Rocks, Own Spac, you know, all the cool old OGs of the day, you know. And really, I, I consider all of us the OGs way back in the day. The ones that started 09 and, and earlier. You know, like Nintendo Capri Sun, he's an OG. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, that, you know, kept going, kept going. And so, the reason I bring up Let's Plays is because, like I've always said, you guys have gotten me through a lot. And... I want to give you guys some examples of stuff that I didn't expressly state in any video that you got me through. All right. So in 2011, a cousin of mine was diagnosed with ALS. Uh, so Lou Gehrig's, you know, the ice bucket challenge last year. So every Tuesday and Thursday, we would go and visit my cousin. And you know, help her out. And she needed a lot of help. She at at a point she had a walker and still could have mobility. But at a point she was in a hospital bed and couldn't move. You know, and we helped her out and came by every couple of days. She had a personal nurse every day, but we kind of came in and checked to make sure she was all right. And. Really, the vis the visits were really m more for her because she really, really needed some people to go there, and you know, I I'll I would do that every day of the week. Uh, so in 2011, uh, we did that uh, for most of the year. Uh, I didn't I didn't really mention any of it in videos. And I, did, I kind of, you know, sort of, you know, used the videos in 2011 to sort of hide the fact that it was a painful thing to watch someone not be able, not uh, go from being able to eat to not being able to eat to not being able to walk to, you know, basically, you know, become become a prisoner of their own bed. It's a horrible disease to watch someone go through. But that 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 year was a difficult year and you guys got me through it and I could never thank you guys enough because basically you're watching someone die when they're in that state. And you know, it was a difficult it was a difficult thing. I tried to get through it as best as I could, and I sort of suppressed everything with comedy. Again, comedy was my escape, and having fun was my escape. Gaming was my escape. Another, and she died, I think, 
really early 2012. Yeah, I think it was really early 2012, like February 2012. So, next up, uh, another thing that really you guys got me through was my uncle had a heart attack and, you know, collapsed and just dropped dead um, on New Year's Day of, I think, 2012. I'm pretty sure it's 2012. Again, 2012 was not a good year, but, you know, it was, it was a year. You know, it was, it was a year of hardship, but, you know, we, we got through it. And he dropped dead of a heart attack, just like that. And it was a difficult thing to get through. Uh, again, you know, I started use comedy and entertainment as a means of escape. Uh, and October 2013, uh, again, you guys got me through, uh, my art, um, my art, my aunt, uh, dying of a heart attack in Florida, who we were really close to, uh, and she, it was really devastating because, uh, it was my godmother, and, you know, it, we just couldn't get there at the time, which was really sad because, you know, she was so close, and my cousins just said, uh, if you guys don't, if you guys, if you guys, uh, you guys don't have to come, we'll just, you know, we, we're gonna do it pretty quick anyway, they didn't want to really have too much to go through themselves, and we said, okay. And that's one of the reasons last year why we went down to Florida and why I didn't make many videos during the South Park times is because I was down there, you know, helping out and, uh, you know, going through some stuff and helping, uh, you know, go and visit my aunt's um, grave for the first time, etc. So... But what I want to say is, and why I mentioned everything, why I mentioned all of this is, I want to I want to say that all your guys' positive attitudes and wonderful comments, etc., during all those years, have really meant a lot, and you guys don't know the power of comments and positivity, and. You guys showing positivity to me has helped me grow as a person, grow and feel comfortable to say some of the stuff that I said today. And I really cannot thank you guys enough. And it really means a lot to me that you guys watch. YouTube's been a blessing to me. It's been a great it's been a great way to grow as a person and I, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Alright, so. The last thing I want to say before I get to the miscellaneous shit that I want to talk about is in May 2015. So this year, in fact, a couple months ago, was, the, was when I came out to my mom and sister about the bisexual thing. And it was the most amazing thing that could have ever happened to me. It was the greatest thing that's ever happened in my life. And I'm I'm glad that I made the real I was really scared about doing it, but I I knew I needed to and it was finally time and I just want to tell people just to be themselves. Don't hide who you are. I hid it for a very long time. And it's another one of the reasons why I really wanted to make this video. And it's going to be a series now. But yeah, it was one of the best things I've ever done. And I can't believe I waited this so long. Alright, so miscellaneous notes. I am a huge meteorology buff. I am a huge weather guy. It's a big thing in my life. I'm very awestruck by weather. Uh, severe weather, blizzards, tornadoes, 
it, it, everything just really interests me. I enjoy a lot of reading. I read every night. I read, you know, astrophysics books. I read everything under the sun. Uh, you know, biographies. I read everything. I'm really a big nonfiction reader. But I do love the occasional fiction story like Jurassic Park. I really love that. I love watching documentaries. Uh, <laughs> documentaries are an amazing thing. Uh, hmm. LPs really have helped me become very much more confident. And it's helped me with talking in front of people. You know, I don't feel like an awkward idiot anymore. Uh, when I'm in front of large groups of people l like I did way back in the day. Uh, hmm. I do have... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I do have a slight case of OCD. So, you know, I'm pretty much a perfectionist when it comes to anything. Uh... I'm pretty damn good at geography. Almost won the geography being fourth grade. <laughs> but my librarian uh, told me I was wrong, even though I was right, because they didn't want a fourth grader uh, making them look stupid. And being the school champion, they'd rather a sixth grader. So that way, they don't, that whole sixth grade class didn't feel so bad about themselves, I guess. <laughs> uh. I know this is going to come as a shock to everyone, but I'm not confirmed in any religion. I grew up Catholic, but my ma said that it's my decision to be a part of any religion that I want. And I haven't really taken the that next step because, you know, I really, you know, there's no reason to. I, I believe in my own way. But yeah, I grew up Catholic, uh, you know, did all the other stuff that, you know, you should do as a Catholic, like baptism and all that other stuff, but I'm not confirmed, so, you know, it really, I'm, I'm a free agent, oh my god, um, I'm interested in a lot of areas of study, like I said back in the college area, I, I'm very interested in a lot of different stuff. I study a lot of different stuff. Even when I'm... Hell, I, I watch the MIT channel on YouTube every so often. Just to, you know, soak in as much knowledge as I can. And really, my favorite musicians are Eminem, of course. He was a huge thing in my life. You know, a very big inspiration in my life. His I don't give two shits attitude. You know, his, his, the way his attitude was, and from being the, from the same county as I was, you know, and from the same general area. I knew the area because, you know, my uncle lived down there. Uh, you know, I knew the area. So, it was, a, he's a huge inspiration. And I'm a, also a very big fan of Falling in Reverse, uh, Ronnie Radke and all of them. And I'm also a big fan of El Santa. El Santa. I, I always tried to pronounce that wrong. Alright, so I want to give some special things out. Uh, the first one is going to be to Prince Laharl Kuhn, who made that video series. I, I, I mean, I can't thank him enough for that video series because it really spurred this one. Uh, but he's my best friend, one of the greatest people I know, one of the nicest people I know, and he was the one that I first told, you know, that other stuff to, you know, he was the first one I hit with, you know, hey, I'm, you know, this, you know, and he didn't care, he encouraged me to tell my mom, my sis, you know, and it really means the world. He changed my life in so many different ways. I, I can't, I can never thank him enough. You know. So, that's special thanks. Uh, Shots Rocks. 
I mean, I would have never met a lot of my friends without shots, and I consider him another of my very good friends, like a best friend, a brother. Same with Prince LaHarlkun. Prince LaHarlkun's practically my brother, but shots is another brother to me. Uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'm always grateful for everything you've ever done. He helped me get my name out there in the Let's Play community, and... I could never repay him for what he's done for me. All of Puddle Plains, uh, everyone in Puddles, I'd like to thank you all for just being the wacky fun group you are. Because I love reading the chat and when I'm having a bad day, it gets me to, you know, laugh and have fun. That You know, it sort of puts me in a good state of mind. And that that is my... You know, uh, th that's what I need sometimes. And I really enjoy reading that chat. It, I mean, everyone in Puddle Plains, I, I consider a friend, you know, I'd do anything for, you know. And last of all, of course, is all my viewers, commenters. Like I said, I, there's not enough thank yous I could ever give to all of you for everything you've ever done for me. You know, I just make videos. You guys have given me so much. And I could never give back as much as I have received from you all. And I really, truly appreciate it every day. I mean, seriously, I'll do this. No matter if I get two viewers, I really just enjoy the entertainment and just hoping to make someone smile on the internet. And that's all I ever want to do. So my final thoughts. My reason was for doing this video is to get the message out. To not hide who you are. I don't want anyone to ever hide who they are. It was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Is hiding who I am. From hiding... You know, everything. I hide it. I, I had to hide it because confronting it, I felt, was difficult. But, you know, confronting it's the only way. And it's the only way to do it. And knowing that there's every there's people out there that have felt the same way or done the same thing. You know, it's always a good thing. I wanted to make this video because of that. I made a promise to myself earlier on this year that I wouldn't, you know, ever hide my hide who I am ever again. And that was my New Year's resolution and it's come true with this video. Um, you know, I want others just to know that hiding isn't the answer. Hiding isn't the answer, and being who you are is. Being out front, being conf uh, just having the confidence and the belief that the next day will be a better day, and that th the grass will be greener. As you guys have seen in, in this video series, it might not have always been the easiest for me, but... I had I have an undeniable hope that tomorrow will be better and most of the time it is and even if it isn't the next day will be better than today and today was always better than yesterday and that's how I live my life and I always have hope that tomorrow's going to be the next best day and you know for the past 6 years it's been the truth. You guys have shown me that that is the case because every day I get amazing comments, get true support, and I could never thank you guys enough. And like I said, everyone, there's people out there that have done the exact same thing as you, and you're not alone. So, I hope that shines through. And I hope that these stories have helped. 
and so short, uh, sort of showed you who I am as a person and sort of what made me me. So thank you all and see y'all again for probably a Let's Play port. And yes, I can totally be me from every video on. And that is so very freeing and it's a very much a freedom feeling. And I really hope you do stay tuned and enjoy my content. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for six amazing years. And I will see you again next time. Peace.